4-12-2011. Uh, lovely morning. Check this out. Fog. I got fog to fly over. It's low and it's thin. I shouldn't have a problem with it. It'll add some hell of a scenic to the experience. Beautiful morning. Very flat. Um, this should be excellent. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, check out the plane. On the camera, the HD camera, I used this uh, packing kind of foam that electronics is often packed in, like headsets and iPods and stuff. It's a very soft vibration damper. Taped it kind of loose to help with that. The cable here too as well uh, to help deal with the jello effect. What else did I change? Um, nothing up front. That's all the same. This, I guess, is the major thing here. I got myself a uh, 1280 megahertz V antenna, V dipole. So we'll be testing distance, low uh, altitude, line of sight distance, just like last time. I'm hoping for a new record, though. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much the same, I figure. Uh, I got that toroid in there that I added, but that was last time. Um, took one of the bolts off the tail because I found out last time I was way tail heavy, so this should be a whole lot better. Balance is about, well, pretty much stock, actually, the CG point. Maybe a little forward of it, and that's fine. Uh, other than that, nothing amazing. I think we ought to get at it. Uh, that blasting sun there, but oh well, what are you gonna do, right? Anyway, here we go. Oh, and this time I'm actually gonna try to talk during the flight. I was so nervous last time, I just couldn't say anything. Well, we'll work on that this time. Off we go. Okay, we're hot. We're gonna do a trim flight first, I think. I should do one. Just to make sure everything's kosher before I put her up FPV. Pretty good. Well, that was a better landing, wasn't it? That helped. I uh, brought her in low as I could and then gave her some throttle on the on the remainder of the uh, approach. And that seemed to help. Okay, let's get at it for real, I guess. Okay. Let's do this. We're up. Flying nice and stable. I feel like I have to yell above the uh, noise of the prop. Headset's kind of loud.
probably a good idea to hold the antenna up, huh? Whoa, baby. What's that all about? And a little pussy. Up over the wires. Down the other side. And past my tree. Signal is very solid on the video. Very nice. The canal. I'm staying up a bit high because signal is a little crabby, obviously. Obviously. Okay. Now I gotta go hiking. Okay, I got the plane back. It was way over there. By, I don't know, pick a distant tree. I mean, a really distant tree. Uh, hundreds of feet out at least, through knee-high weeds. That was fun, trespassing all the way. I got crap all over everything. Would you believe, look at that, it shattered the IR filter. Now how does that happen? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't have thought the impact was that bad because the nose isn't really damaged. But what is damaged, number one, uh, I shattered the, uh, See here, my camera mount sits on a plastic servo arm and they are prone to breakage in an impact like that. It was never meant for that. Uh, but thankfully my tether kept it in place. Isn't that cool? I've got ducks out here, I'm gonna have to shoot the ducks. Anyway, uh, the real damage is back here. The force of impact broke the uh, nacelle at the weak spot. And uh, <laughs> the resalting letting go of the prop apparently sent it into the wing where it did this. Well, it at least did this here. This maybe not because that was weak to start with. It was cracking up that seam and I knew that. And uh, figured it wouldn't be a problem in flight and I was right about that much, but in a crash, not so much. The rest of the plane looks good. I don't see any damage anywhere else. One thing I want to note, the lost plane alarm was pretty much unhearable out there. I couldn't hear it until I was already well within, well within sight of the plane, probably 200 feet away. Maybe not even that much, maybe just 150. So, yeah. <laughs> that did me a hell of a lot of good. Uh, huh. Well, aside of that, I don't know what to say. I better stop the HD cam. I think I better go home and do repairs. <sighs> Folks, I probably don't have to tell you that when you're flying distance, you take risks. Um, especially in a stock configuration with a, with a typical low power transmitter. Uh, what happened was, I got out of range and signal wouldn't come back. She went into a sloping kind of thing and couldn't pull her out. Last second of that footage, you will notice that it caught signal again and leveled a little bit, which probably saved it some even worse damage than it took. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to pull it back up in the air, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's just all part of the game. You know, 
when uh, you're testing the fringes, the limits of your radio range, that's what's going to happen.